We're at the NatWest Digital Innovation Studio, where everyone has an eye on the latest trends and technology, all to keep us, and of course our bank details, safe and secure. Naresh Fias's job is to be constantly one step ahead of the very latest technological developments. Naresh, what you do is fascinating. Explain exactly what biometrics is. So biometrics is like technology that uses biological features to help identify people. Fingerprints all the time on your phones. Iris is what you've seen at the airports, but now what you're seeing is people are able to uniquely tell how you walk, for example, right? People can uniquely tell you know, how you smell. Really? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Really, for you to understand this, Angelica, you should probably spend some time in, in some of these companies like we do. There's one just a couple of miles from here, Aimbrain. I can even send you there in my driverless car. Canary Wharf is where tech startups like Aimbrain are flourishing. We're here to meet its chief commercial officer, Peter Reynolds, who's going to explain how passwords will be a thing of the past. Now, Peter, I want you to tell me all about Aimbrain. Sure, yeah. So Aimbrain's the world's first biometric authentication platform covering a whole variety of different types of biometrics, such as voice, facial and behavioural. You interact with the bank through devices, tablets, call centres and what have you. So banks are working very hard to understand how they can authenticate you and realise it is actually you without meeting you. Wouldn't it be easy just to stick with passwords? We've never had this conversation, but I guarantee somewhere you've got a spreadsheet full of all your passwords because you've got so many of them and they don't change as much. <laughs> yeah, can... I do have a problem with remembering my passwords, yes. We kind of all do. So we're saying in, in three to five years, passwords won't exist. Instead, people will use a facial or voice or maybe behavioural authentication and things like that. Because okay, this is all sounding very fascinating and you're sort of winning me over here. How does it work? Why don't we have a look? Yeah. I have a mock banking app here. Hit that camera button. Please blink now you see that it said access denied. Yeah. So what the computer's saying there is that maybe this is good, you don't look like me. <laughs> and actually, why don't you get your phone out, take a picture of me, and then see if the liveliness detection works. Right. It is done. I'm going to hold this picture up as if this is a real person. And if you could just press the photo button. Yeah. It said, yes, it's you, but it's failed the liveliness detection. Right. Because yes. remember, the whole point of biometrics is making the system less friction so that it's easier for you to use, but more secure. So what you're saying, Peter, is that the future is looking safer and more secure for you and me. 100%. It's great to know that the likes of Naresh and Peter are thinking ahead to combat cyber crime. And it's really exciting to see just how far the banks are looking to the future. For the latest tips and advice on staying safe and secure, search NatWest Security. Or click here to watch Money Bite, the show that aims to get Britain talking about money.